My name is Daniel Seda. I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. Two coming out stories to my parents. I have to tell you this. I guess I'll start with my mother first. Um, we were sitting down on a couch, and this was, I think, before I told my dad. And I was prepared for anything, you know. But I eventually said, you know, Mom, um, I'm gay or whatever, and she said, or whatever, <laughs> and she said, um, she took, she took back, and she goes, I know, and I'm like, why are you whispering? <laughs> and she said, um, she goes, I know, I've, 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 I've known, I'm a mother, Dan, I can feel these things. I'm like, well, why are you whispering? Why is it a big deal? Why couldn't you tell me it was okay before? Um, and she said, I wasn't prepared for this. I thought I was prepared for anything. Um, she said, well, Dan, you know, I'm glad I didn't tell you it was okay because you would have been a bigger whore than you already are now. <gasps> I was like, whoa. But you just got to deal with people's processes, okay? So I took a deep breath and I went back and I was like, Mom, what are you talking about? And she goes, well, Dan, you know, you've probably been with both men and women and, and you know, that, to me that's a whore. And, this, and I'm like, okay. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. You're right, okay? Not that I'm a whore, but if you think that, okay, that's fine, whatever. Um, it's your process. Okay, I'm gonna go with my life, right, and know that I love you, but I think we're done with this kind of vacation. Yeah. My father. I went upstairs, I was like maybe 26, I'm 28 now, to, and I was 26, and I went to my dad, 25 and a half, whatever. I went to my dad, uh, he was up in his, in his room, um, in the bedroom in North Carolina, and I was like, Dad, you know I'm gay, right? I'm like, I'm like ironing his, his, his dress shirts for work, right? I'm like, and I'm like, Dad, you know I'm gay, right? <laughs> and he was like, uh, he said something like, it's my fault. And I go, I really was prepared for anything, right? Um, and I was like, okay, Dad, why is it your fault? He's like, well, check this out. He goes, you know, Dan, when you had cancer, um, the doctors um, took us aside and said, we're going to give your son this experimental chemotherapy, okay? But, he said this in a straight face, but we want you to know that this medication might make your son homosexual. <laughs> so, I mean, this is what he believes. So I just sat there ironing, and I stopped ironing. And I was like, you know, Dad, <laughs> I was like, it's interesting you believe that, but you know it's a crack of horse, okay? And the latest research says that, you know, medication can't make you get, all right? You're just gonna have to deal with the fact that your son's a mo, okay? And if you need any help dealing with that, I have some websites you could stop, you know, people you can talk to, but right now I'm just ironing your shirts, and if you want your shirts to be clean for tomorrow, you need to get away from me right now. And then so he's, all right, so then um, the next morning I was making eggs, okay? Making eggs, right? And um, downstairs, and I know the way he wants his omelet cooked, blah, blah, blah. And so he comes downstairs and he goes, you know, Dan, I have this friend, Rudd, and he's got a beautiful daughter. And I took the spatula and I said, Dad, if you want your eggs, you're gonna sit down and shut your mouth. I said, your son's a mo, get used to it. It felt good to say that, you know? So he sat down, all right, Danny, all right. So I made him his egg and I threw it on the table. I'm like, I'll take care of myself.